Some LMPD officers started the day by making house calls. As WDRB Stefan Johnson tells us, police were not out to protect, but to serve. Good evening, Stefan. Good evening, guys. Officers from LMPD's downtown patrol office were mostly looking for sick, shut in, and homeless. And whether it was a box of food or clothing from behind me here at the clothing closet, the people on the receiving end were happy to get that knock at the door. A knock at the front door from LMPD could mean a number of things. Oh, it was a big help to me. For Emmanuel Valentine, it's a welcome surprise. Here lately, my health has been declining. Uh, have very aggressive arthritis, can't get around like I would like to. Valentine is on a fixed income and lost his wife a few years ago. She passed away in 2020 due to COVID. And it's just been a struggle just trying to maintain this. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, dog. That's why he appreciates the monthly visit from LMPD. Every month, a box is delivered to my house, and it helps me big time. Whether it be to supplement the lack of food in their homes or to supply them with food for the month, um, we have a partnership with Dairy Care that allows us to be able to go out into the community and supply those services. Michael Abernathy Jr. is a division resource officer and makes dozens of deliveries every month. It'll be canned goods, rice, beans, um, different things they can make meals out of or again they can supplement with to stretch food for the month while also giving them things um, that may be a little bit on the healthier side. The boxes are loaded with non-perishables and in some cases the officers deliver warm clothing and shoes. My cupboards are bare. Several years ago officer Beverly Jones started a clothing closet out of the downtown patrol office and uses it to help people in need. It's starting to get cold and I'm really asking if people can donate coats maybe. I need men's shoes and women's shoes. Recently got hired by the Salvation Army. Emmanuel Valentine hopes to be back on his feet soon, but appreciates the help while he's down. It lets me know that somebody cares. And if you would like to make a donation, you can drop it off here at the downtown patrol office in Hayden as the temperature changes that need goes up. Absolutely, Stefan. And this is just so important for building that community relationship and trust. Thanks for that story today.